Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting topics. The first one is gonna be about Nick Walker. If you guys watched my videos, and if you watched the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, you know what is going on with Nick right now, what is the talk. Nick's conditioning wasn't great, you could say that way, for one week out. Yeah, we all know he has an entire week to peak, to carb up, to dehydrate, to do all the things necessary to improve that conditioning and hopefully to control his midsection better. Now, in this video we have a comment, we actually have a post that his coach, Matt Jansen, wrote about what exactly happened and why did Nick look the way he looked at the Pittsburgh Pro Guest posing. And there are some things that make sense, that I understand, that I agree with, but there are some others that I'm not so sure about. So let's read what Matt had to say. So he says, want to put some things into perspective for those of you who might not understand bodybuilding at a high level. Okay. Nick and I prepare for competition. We do our process and everything is planned for the day that it actually matters. I remember the same thing happened back in 2019 at the Waynes for USA's in 2019. Everyone freaked out saying he wasn't ready, not in shape, etc. 34 hours later, he shocked everyone. We came second at that show, but the praise about his peak week was resounding. This Saturday, we stayed on our plan. There was no peaking for the guest posing. He was up at 5.30 a.m., did cardio, traveled five and a half hours to Pittsburgh. Saturday night, he stepped on the stage with no training, no pump-up, five meals, seven liters of water in at 8 p.m. at night. A 270 pounds body under the stress of travel, regardless of how stress-free it is, the body's under stress doing that, and it's going to hold water. He did this for you guys, for the fans, to promote the IBB and to support the organization we are thankful to be a part of, not for validation, of his current look. What I am most happy about, actually thrilled about, is what's seen on the slide 2. Left is the Saturday before the 2022 Mr. Olympia, where he placed third. Right is this past Saturday at the guest posing. The work he's done is undeniable. That being said, it's now Monday morning and this is the current look. Alright, so, Matt did say a couple of very interesting things. First of all, we all know, I said it in my video, we know that Matt Jensen is big on his peak week protocols, all of his guys look 10 times better at the day of the show compared to one week out. We know that. I said it, we are all aware of that. He was definitely holding some water, it's not like he's fat, he's definitely just a little bit watery and he will get dry and he'll be conditioned enough, like I said. That was never the issue, for me, personally. I can see some comments, people saying that he's not ready, that he won't be ready come showtime, come New York Pro. No, no, he will be ready, there's no doubt about that. Why was he so watery? Apparently he had 5 meals and 7 liters of water prior to this guest posing. So, of course, all that plus the travel, of course he won't be super shredded. Is he shredded enough? In my opinion, yes. The other thing is he didn't do a peak week for this. Why would he do a peak week? I never expected him to do a peak week for the guest posing. I can see the other guys who are deep into their offseason to do something to improve their look simply because why not? People do that for photo shoots, so why not do that for guest posing? I am not saying that all the other guys did it, but I'm saying they could have done it. But Nick and Martin? No, they compete in one week from now. Why would they do anything crazy like that? Nobody thought that, I'm sure. Another very interesting information is the 170 pounds right here. How heavy will he be at a show day? I'm guessing maybe high 260s, maybe like mid 260s, which is exactly what I said yesterday. That was my guess. At least 260, maybe 270. So I believe on the stage he's gonna be, I don't know, let's say 265, something like that. And Martin, also very big for his height, but significantly smaller. He's like 240, I believe. And that's, that's also amazing, that's also very heavy. There are guys of his height who weigh like 230 on stage, like Hari Japan, even Derek Lansford, I believe. So 240 is big enough. Nick is, I don't know, extra, extra, extra large. He is insanely big for his height. 270, man. It's crazy in this conditioning. Now, I don't know if Martin did a peak week for the guest posing, but I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. He has a coach. He's coached by Stefan Kinsel. Would Stefan do something like that? I really don't think so. I don't think Martin did anything to dry out for this show. And his conditioning was better than Nick's, for sure. But the thing is, Martin competed recently. Nick hasn't even done a show. So I believe at New York Pro, conditioning is gonna be very much comparable. I don't think there's gonna be a significant difference. Okay, maybe, maybe Martin is gonna be a little bit sharper, but it won't matter, and not that much. 
Now in the comment section, I asked Matt a question, and he replied, but I deleted my comment just in case, I don't wanna get blocked, I was respectful, I was just asking a question, but you never know what it is, guys, I'm not sure, I mean, I don't think he would block me, but I deleted the question, the question was, what about his midsection, is that also because of all the food and all the water, and is it gonna be better come stage time? His reply was, did you see the part about all the food and all the water? I asked that question simply because in his post he never addressed this issue. I thought it was more of an issue than the conditioning. I wasn't concerned with conditioning at all. I was only concerned with Nick's lines, Nick's midsection. I think this is the first time on any stage, guest posing or a show, whatever. The first time we ever saw Nick with a bubble gut on stage. His abdominal control was never this bad. This is the first time I ever saw it. And yeah, sure, I understand he ate all those meals and he had all the water, but didn't all the other guys did that? I mean, they all had to travel. They all had to hydrate and to eat. I mean, everybody had the same conditions and Nick is the only one with this issue. But then again, Nick always had that gut issue. However, he was always able to control it. This is the first time... He wasn't. Maybe all those previous times he was guest posing and so on, he didn't eat that much because he wasn't one week out. Maybe it is as simple as that, but I don't know, because to me it seems like he added more muscle, and maybe with all that muscle, his midsection grew to a point where it's not even controllable anymore. But I guess we'll see. We'll find out soon enough. Now, if we go back to the slide one, we can see a very interesting comparison, so one week out of the Mr. Olympia 2022, where he achieved his best result of all time, placing third at the Mr. Olympia, and I would say this wasn't his best conditioning of all time. However, his fullness and his shape at this show were probably the best. I don't think his silhouette ever looked better than at this show. And I gotta mention, I mentioned this multiple times and I gotta say it again, this off-season, prior to this show, Nick did it with Dom Super Sliced, and that guy really focused on Nick's midsection, on his digestion and so on, and basically what he says is that his waist size went down, like 2 inches, 2.5 and inches I believe, and it was showing, it was visible on stage. I really didn't like the way Nick ended things with uh, Dom, uh, he just ignored him, he ghosted him, he started working with uh, Matt for the prep, he got back with Matt and he never said anything to Dom. Dom found out about this on an Instagram post, so this, I didn't like the way Nick handled the situation, it was immature if you ask me, but it is what it is, it was in the past, hopefully he learned something from this situation, he won't repeat the same thing again, I don't know how he ended things with Fuad, but as far as I know, that didn't end super well. Anyways, the point that I'm trying to make is his midsection here at this show was really small. It was smaller than ever. And also he bulked up nicely that off season. He was definitely the most out of shape he ever was. So I think the improvements from the Mr. Olympia 2021 to 2022 was significant. And it's all thanks to Dom. And Nick never gave him any credit. So I gotta do it here, but I also have to point out that Matt Jensen did a phenomenal job during the prep, because he prepped Nick, I would say, the best way possible. This is the look for Nick. Full, big, round, with as small waist as possible. The Arnold Classic look was too dried out, it wasn't very good, this is what they should go for. So looking at this photo from last year, I believe the conditioning at New York Pro is gonna be similar. I would say fullness is also gonna be there, it's gonna be a really good package, and the improvements that Nick made now in the offseason, especially with his back, are insane. Look at his back lat spread, completely morphed. This is a new back. So he made crazy changes here in terms of development. Yeah, it's been two years, but still, man, he was massive, even two years ago, and now his back is doubled in size. Conditioning-wise, which one looks better? I would say it's very similar, so once again, I believe New York Pro is gonna be a phenomenal package of Nick Walker, at least from behind and from the side, I don't know about the front, because of the, of course, midsection, we also got this update from today, Monday morning, so he had an entire night after the guest posing to dry out, and in the morning he looked like this, definitely much drier, so he lost some water here, but again, there is an entire week ahead of him where he's going to dry out, tighten up, probably rest up, freshen up his body, and I'm sure after 7 days 
his physique is gonna be much more defined, much more conditioned, much sharper, much tighter, and I'm sure the midsection is gonna look better than it did at the guest posing. And hopefully, Nick will take this criticism the best way possible and really try, really focus to control the midsection as good as possible, because if he doesn't, they might punish him for it. It might very well happen. Aside from that, yeah, I think he has enough to win the New York Pro. And as far as the Mr. Olympia, let's wait and see what he brings to New York Pro and then we're gonna talk about it. But as of right now, I kinda lost the hope a little bit. I still do see him in the top four, but higher than that, like winning the Mr. Olympia. And if Andrew Jack gets ready this year and gets conditioned really for the Mr. Olympia, if some of the new guys make progress... I don't know, I don't know, I mean, top 5 this year would be a success for anybody, and Nick Walker, I mean, best case scenario, best case scenario, if one of those three guys, Derek Sampson and Hadi, coming off, and Nick is absolutely perfect with his abdominal control, and he's really conditioned and also full and massive, then I guess, maybe, best case scenario, top 3. I personally don't see him higher than that, but I might change my mind based on what I see at the New York Pro. Whatever you guys think about Nick and about what Matt had to say, tell us down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.